Do you enjoy quotes? I love quotes. So many times, though, they take it out of context. And what was meant by them originally is not always what comes forward when you read it. And that is a discussion for another day. What I would like to bring to you today is where are you taking things you hear, you think, or you think you've heard out of context? In the last few months working with various clients, I'm seeing where conversations that workmates, partners, various other people have been taken out of context. And this has led to a series of events that if effective communication had been in, in, indulged in, would have actually, if it had taken place, would have made a very different scenario. I know myself, I have sometimes misunderstood what my husband was saying or misheard him. And when I've stopped and said, um, could you just repeat that? Because I don't feel I heard it correctly. Boy, if I'd taken it on what I thought he said rather than what he actually said, uh, it would have caused a lot of chaos. In the beginning, he said, what, aren't you listening to me? And I'm saying, I would say to him, uh, no, I just want, would like to clarify that what you said is what I actually heard. And people, this is what effective communication is all about. Clarifying that what was said is what you heard and that what you heard is what was said <laughs> because it can avoid many, many hiccups later on. And this process applies to ourselves because when we are children, we pick up on thoughts, words, and feelings. We pick up on other people's thoughts. We are just basically sponges without the content of the conversations, the understandings of what was going on. And this then impacts our world and has a programming effect on our life for a very long time afterwards until we decide to take awarenesses and what we felt was communicated to us and begin to clarify it. This is just a fancy way of saying we go and check in with what we took on and see if it really, really suits us anymore, if it's a truth, and if it's a truth for us. Now, we all have uh, the basic energy center, well, they're not basic, they're actually quite complex. The energy centers within our bodies of our base chakra, our sacral chakra, our solar plexus, our heart space, our throat, our third eye, and our crown chakra. Yes, there are others. Yes, there are different ways of describing them. The bottom line is, though, very often we forget that what we may feel is the truth may not be the truth because of programming, because of ways of understanding, and because of belief systems that very potentially are no longer serving us. They come from a context that no longer has uh, validity in our life. Something that has come to me that I have spoken about in other podcasts is when we work with masculine and feminine energies, masculine being the giving, the stepping forward and the doing, the feminine being the receiving, the intuitive and the planning, and we require both in our lives for structure and balance. So basically our feminine energy receives the idea, processes the idea, plans around it, and our masculine energy puts borders and strategies and boundaries around it and then gets on with doing it. So basically our intuition is the feminine side, our body could be the masculine side, depending on how you're working with it. Our heart space is the love side. And when we speak our truth and communicate through our heart space, the feminine aspect of it with our voice, the doing aspect of it, we get to have more balance than when we just do it from what we know. So we step into our knowing rather than what we feel we know. And Again, we can bring feelings into it, and then it can become even more complex and complicated. So it's to go back to that old analogy of keep it super simple, kiss a subject. Number one, clarify what you've heard. Number two, ensure that it's what that person was meaning you to hear. And number three, come to an agreement on what was actually said. Now, here's the kicker. Very often, we will hear in our minds and our hearts what the person was thinking and feeling before we hear with our ears what they were actually saying. And this 
is when it gets interesting because we get to assess, well, were they really communicating what they were thinking and feeling? Am I picking up on their thinking and feelings? And are we both picking up on somebody else's thinkings and thoughts, thinkings, thoughts and feelings? And where can we create a truth from this that benefits everyone and actually brings expansion rather than constriction into our life? Takes us towards our dreams and our goals, our destiny and our purpose, rather than working with fate and fatality. <sighs> Communication is a very interesting point of view. And I really enjoy what Norman Vincent Peale says when he said, when you change your thoughts, remember to also, to also change your world, because this is where changing our beliefs impacts what we believe we are hearing and thinking. And then just because I enjoy this quote from Diane McLaren, nature has given us all the pieces required to achieve exceptional wellness and health. It has also left it to us to put these pieces together. And I feel that this quote definitely works to the tool and the way of communication. It's to allow for effective, understood communication that comes from a place of love and a place of truth. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Come and find me on social media and I would really appreciate you sharing this. Also, if you could leave me a five-star rating on Spotify and on iTunes, as well as a review, I would really, really appreciate it. Have a grand, glorious, and thoughtful day as you become aware of what you are truly communicating, what the other person is communicating, and where this is impacting your life. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>